We are doing another how-to video, but we're gonna switch it up a little bit. How to film an Instagram video with your iPhone or Android, whichever one you have. Shout out to ODI, man, for like making these how-tos come to life. You know, it's like, uh, they've always been supportive, best scripts in the game. They continue to push for these how-to videos just for you guys to like uh, get out there and try new things. If you have, a, if you wanna film an Instagram clip, um, and you ask one of your friends, like, be considerate of them. Like, if they kind of look like they don't really want to film it, just don't even ask them. But the a good key point into like enjoying filming Instagram videos is to make sure the person that's filming you is stoked to film you, and uh, you give them a little breather room. That means that you don't like overdo it with the clips. Also, be be down to pass out the phone. Like if you're filming them. Uh, or if they're filming you, you film them as well. So it goes both ways. The biggest point to it, just put effort into it. Like if you're enjoying it, then they're gonna be stoked to try to get the clip or film whatever it is that they're doing. No. <laughs> I don't know how many likes a video get. So that's a disclaimer to this. Because you learn how to film a video better doesn't mean that you're gonna get more views, doesn't mean you're gonna get more likes. I don't think people really have a control over any of that. Just enjoy it a little bit better. Like you can you can get more out of it. Um, you're doing more with your time than you know sometimes filming on a tripod. You know, like uh, if you got a friend around us down to film it, um, it's cool if that friend like have a cool idea on how to film it, then you guys can build from there, then you can enjoy it. Like watch it later and you're stoked on it. Go-to filmer, if out, would definitely be Michael Yup. <laughs> He's always down, like I've been knowing him for so long. Basically, if I'm like trying to uh, think of how to film it, if they're filming one thing or like more than one clip, I do like in-camera editing. So I'll do like a pan up. If it's a long lens, I pan up while they're like going into the clip. And if they land it, I'll kind of like maybe pan out a different way, but like the second clip or the lifestyle of B-roll, I kind of do something similar that can lead in or lead out of that clip. So it's almost like when you go to edit it, then it'd be seamless to a degree. When filming fish or long, like if you prefer to film on a bike while rolling or on a skateboard, that's another option too. But like how the new phones now have crazy stabilizers on it that you can literally run with the phone. So basically if you're filming fish, there, I mean, you can hold it a bunch of different ways, but like being that the phone, like the way it operates, you can have like, you can kind of start with the phone upright, then you press record, then you just flip the phone over. Then the camera gets, is a little bit lower. That means you could probably like have more movement and it makes the object seem a little bit more like uh, fishy, I guess, so a little bigger, yeah. When you stop recording, you just flip it back over and just automatically flip the clip around, so yeah. We do this thing where it's like if you get it and then if you didn't like how you did it, you get like uh, one more try after that to try to clean it up, but if you don't do it, you just take it. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah? Okay. All right. He's disappointed. That was sick. No, that was sick. If you want him to send you clips or you send him clips, like if you do airdrop, the clip keeps the quality. But if you text it, it, uh, it loses quality to a, a pretty big degree. I use Splice, actually. I wasn't, I wasn't going to say it, but the reason why I wasn't going to say it is because it isn't free. But if you are on your iPhone and using it to film constantly and wanting to edit videos, like Splice is uh, one that has a lot of options. If you don't want to use Splice, you can use iMovie. And I think most phones have them and kind of work the same as that way. Just like everything else, the more you use it, you'll get used to it and you'll figure out things that, um, that you're stoked on and things that you like to use. So over a period of time, the more and more you use it, then you'll get more out of it. The friends will be stoked and they make it really easy for you to do it. But it can only get hard when you get super critical about it and you spend days trying to edit the video when it's only gonna be on the internet for like, you know, it'll be on the internet forever, but people are only gonna see it probably once or twice. So, yeah. It's here and then it's gone. Here and it's gone. You wanna watch it? What do you think, Mike? Like it? I see. Alright, sick. Nice. That's sick.